Finally, Canon has announced EOS R50, a camera that can replace the M series which directly competed with smartphones. At a time when smartphone cameras have successfully grabbed the market for vlogging communities and social media influencers, can Canon find the gap to market dent? Wait till the end to find out. The original Canon EOS M50 was the top-selling mirrorless camera in the US. R50 brings the M50 series into the EOS R lineup, offering a significant upgrade to the entry-level market. From the outside, the EOS R50 is remarkably compact despite its large RF lens mount. The grip is on the small side but adequate given the camera's lightweight and tiny size, especially when paired with smaller lenses. Under the hood, it now features a 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor, which is the same as the R10. It comes with a Digic X image processor and can shoot continuously at up to 12 FPS with the electronic shutter. Combining the sensor and processor with its exceptional dual pixel CMOS autofocus system, you can record up to 4K at 30 FPS with 6K oversampling in 10 bit. This autofocus system blends various subject recognition modes with persistent tracking. In many situations, you can set the focus point and the camera will easily follow your subject, particularly when photographing humans. Unfortunately, or we can say strategically, there's no inbuilt image stabilization. In Canon's defense, many RF lenses feature image stabilization, so use a suitable lens or any gimbal to get smoother shots. Though it definitely can be a hassle when you need to shoot on the go. The R50 has a 0.39-inch OLED EVF and a 3-inch variangle LCD touchscreen with 1.62 million dots. The screen is not coated with anything which you might find often distracting while being outdoors. It has a single UHS SD memory card slot which is a bummer. In 2023, this bag data storage system isn't really acceptable. Its RF lens mount is compatible with EF or EFS lenses using an adapter. Now looking at all the specs, you can easily guess that with this camera, Canon aims to attract those seeking a more advanced option than a smartphone camera. But can they succeed? Well, it's an excellent camera for smartphone users and those who prefer not to learn complex camera operation, but it lacks affordable lens options outside of the basic kit zoom. While many customers in this market solely depend on the included lens, for passionate photographers, it's challenging to vouch for a camera that cannot reach its full potential. At least the M50 owners have the option to go for third-party lenses in case they want to take portrait or landscape photography. With Canon's restrictive approach to the RF mount and its exclusion of third-party lens manufacturers, the life shell for its usability is somewhat debatable. You can easily choose the EOS R7 or R10 without compromising that much, but at the price of $680, what more can you ask for? The R50 might be the best entry-level interchangeable lens camera, but only if you understand its limitations and shortcomings. So, did you like the Canon EOS R50? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below.